So what we have here is a little patch of trailing arbutus um, growing on the steep hillsides that it favors. Um, this one's in bloom, and um, the blooms are a little bit past peak, but you get the idea. They also have a really pleasant smell to them. Trailing arbutus also goes by several other names, uh, including ground laurel, and even more so Mayflower or Plymouth's Mayflower. Since this is a really early spring ephemeral, um, done blooming well before May, in fact, usually things around March or so, um, that would be a terrible name, but uh, the legend goes that that name was actually assigned uh, because it was one of the uh, first flowers that the, that the pilgrims in Plymouth saw, um, and they named it after their ship, the Mayflower. That's the legend anyways. It's a neat little plant. The leaves are evergreen, so they look kind of beat up um, right now, um, but they'll, uh, they'll send out some new evergreen plants. These, these leaves survived the whole winter uh, in this form. It's actually almost a woody plant. Um, the problem um, with this particular plant is are, are many and why it's so rare and even protected in some places. For one, uh, it, it, um, it's evergreen, so it needs to have its leaves at least most of the time exposed to the sun so it can collect energy. And in, since it's a woodland plant, that means that the leaves would get completely um, covered in leaves most, most of the time. And so it only grows on sleep, steep hillsides, protected places like that, where it can gain a foothold, a precarious one, because of course erosion and so forth, it can get washed away. But then the leaves also don't cover it all the time. Um, the other problem with it is that uh, even it blooms so early, a lot of times there's not a lot of pollinators. And um, most plants produce either male or female flowers, not both. And so, um, especially since it's getting rare, uh, there may not be either a pollinator who flies far enough to pollinate a male and then a female flower, or uh, there may only be male flowers around, or they may be so far spread apart that no pollinator, especially early in the year, can, can find them. So it rarely produces uh, seeds. And even if it were to do so, then the seeds need to need to land in a certain place because another reason that this grows in only certain areas is that it's got some kind of mycorrhizal relationship. Mycorrhizal fungi are partnerships uh, between the roots and of the plants and and other uh, and and the uh, and the soils and the fungi, so that they both benefit. It's a symbiotic relationship, and without the fungi the plants die. In this case then, even if you were to try to move this, you will probably not have the ideal conditions for the fungi, you'll kill the fungi, and soon thereafter, the trailing arbutus, the flowers will die as well. So lots of reasons why this plant is getting rarer and rarer. In some states it's protected. I believe it's the uh, state flower, I'm trying to remember if it's Rhode Island, but something like that, as well as the provincial flower, I think, of, uh, of one of the Canadian provinces. But a very neat little plant, not commonly seen, used to be collected because of because it was evergreen and because it blooms so early. Um, very fragrant to smell, but, uh, but nowadays it's very much protected and the rarity growing on these steep hillsides where, uh, where it can gain a foothold and can be, it's perennial so it can last for years and years, but in a very precarious state where a little bit of erosion or whatever and it just gets washed away. So trailing arbutus, one of our earliest blooming spring wildflowers and a rarity, sometimes called Plymouth Mayflower or just Mayflower.